Hello and welcome to this English conversations section in which I portray five conversations this time about talking about the nuances of prepositions and articles so let's dive right in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to buy the best merch from my store from which I put a link in the description of every section and don't forget that the main objective of this channel is to provide the best information about all things related to English grammar to you. Talking about the nuances of prepositions and articles. Conversation 1. Here's a conversation between two characters, Alice and Ben, discussing the nuances of prepositions and articles. Alice. Hey Ben, I've been struggling with prepositions lately. Do you find them tricky too? Ben. Absolutely, Alice. Especially when it comes to choosing between, in, on, and, at. It's all about context, really. Alice. Right, and then there's the usage of articles. Sometimes it's, the, sometimes it's, a, or, an. It can be so confusing. Ben, tell me about it. I mean, when do we use, the, for specific things and, a, for general ones. It's like walking a linguistic tightrope. Alice, exactly. I often second guess myself, wondering if I've used the right article for a particular noun. Ben, it's a common struggle, Alice. But once you grasp the subtle distinctions, it all falls into place. Alice, I guess practice makes perfect, then. But it's comforting to know I'm not alone in this grammatical maze. Ben, definitely. We're all navigating through the intricate labyrinth of language together. Keep it it, Alice. You'll get the hang of it. Conversation 2. Here's another conversation between two characters, Sarah and David, discussing the nuances of prepositions and articles. Sarah. David, I've been trying to master the usage of prepositions, but it's quite challenging. David. I hear you, Sarah. Especially when it comes to, into, and, in, or, onto, and, on. It's easy to mix them up. Sarah, exactly, and then there's the whole issue of, of, for, and, from. They seem to change the meaning drastically. David, oh, I know what you mean. And what about the articles? It's not always clear whether to use, the, or, the, or sometimes none at all. Sarah, I struggle with that too. It's like every sentence is a puzzle, and one wrong piece can change the whole meaning. David, it can be frustrating, but I find that paying attention to the specific context and purpose of each word helps a lot. Sarah. True, context is key. I suppose with more practice, we'll gradually unravel the intricacies of these language nuances. David. Absolutely. Learning to navigate these subtle elements is all part of the journey to mastering the language. Keep it it, Sarah. We'll get there. Conversation 3. Here's another conversation between two characters, Emma and James, discussing the nuances of prepositions and articles. Emma. James, I've been grappling with the usage of prepositions in my writing. Do you have any tips? James, I know what you mean, Emma. The choice between, by, with, and, through, can sometimes be quite subtle. Emma. Yes, and then there's the whole issue of, under, over, and, between. It's like a maze of possibilities. James, absolutely. Let's not forget the articles too. Sometimes it's, a, sometimes it's, the, and other times it's none at all. It can get perplexing. Emma, it's like a never-ending puzzle, isn't it? I often find myself re-reading sentences to ensure I've used the right preposition and article. James, I do that too. It's crucial to ensure our language is precise and conveys the intended meaning. Emma, I guess practice and careful attention to context are key. It's reassuring to know others grapple with these intricacies too. James, indeed, Emma. We're all on a quest to refine our language skills. Keep it it, and we'll conquer these linguistic challenges together. Conversation 4. Here's another conversation between two characters, Michael and Sophia, discussing the nuances of prepositions and articles. Michael. Sophia, I've been trying to understand the nuances of prepositions, but I keep stumbling over the details. Do you have any insights? Sophia. Oh, I hear you, Michael. The differences between, beside, besides, and, between, can be quite subtle, right? Michael. Absolutely. And what about, among, amid, and, amidst? It's tricky to discern their precise usage in sentences. Sophia. 
Yes, and then there's the constant challenge of using the appropriate articles. Sometimes, a, or, and, and other times, the, or none at all. Michael, it's a constant balancing act, isn't it? I often find myself rereading my sentences to ensure I've used the right prepositions and articles. Sophia, same here. Precision is key when it comes to effective communication. Michael, definitely. I suppose with practice and an acute understanding of context, we can gradually master these linguistic intricacies. Sophia, absolutely, Michael. Let's keep honing our language skills together. We'll get there with perseverance and dedication. Conversation 5. Here's another conversation between two characters, Olivia and Daniel, discussing the nuances of prepositions and articles. Olivia, Daniel, I've been trying to grasp the intricacies of prepositions, but they seem to elude me. Any advice? Daniel, oh, I feel you, Olivia. Figuring out when to use, by, beside, or, near, can be quite perplexing at times. Olivia, absolutely. And what about, for, from, and, of? They seem to change the entire meaning of the sentence. Daniel, it's like a puzzle that keeps shifting, isn't it? Let's not forget the articles too. Sometimes, the, sometimes, a, and sometimes none at all. It can get quite confusing. Olivia, I know, right. I often find myself second guessing whether I've used the right preposition or article in my writing. Daniel, same here. Precision is key, especially when we want to convey our thoughts accurately. Olivia, I guess with practice and a keen eye for context, we can navigate through these language intricacies more effortlessly. Daniel, absolutely, Olivia. Let's keep refining our language skills together. We'll conquer these challenges with persistence and dedication. And that is all for this English conversations section until we meet again. Don't forget to support this channel by like, share and subscribe and also to buy the best merch on my store in which I give a link in the description below. This is English Grammar Audio Tutorials signing off.